Transformation begins as a subtle shift, a disturbance in the steady stream of perception, a moment when the familiar boundaries between realities start to dissolve. Just like AI is becoming the operating system of your thoughts. AI can design the future. AI can help us be wiser. AI. 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 The kinds of digital intelligences we're making have something that makes them far superior to the kind of biological intelligence we have. There's a parallel race happening, quieter but just as critical. A race to own how you see the world. Apple spent $31 billion last year chasing it. Meta is already $46 billion deep. These aren't experiments. They're positioning for the final platform shift. Why? Because every tech revolution had its screen. The desktop, the laptop, the phone. But this one? This one removes the screen all together. This is computing without boundaries. It turns space into software. It makes presence programmable. It doesn't just show you data, it takes you inside it. Learning shifts from reading to rehearsing, from information to intuition. You don't train a pilot on paper, you simulate the sky. You don't teach surgery through slides, you rehearse the cut until mastery becomes muscle memory. This is the future of personal computing. But really, it's the spatial rewrite of the human operating system. And that makes this the most existential race of our time. Because when vision becomes code, when perception becomes programmable, reality becomes negotiable. The real potential for VR is to allow us to do things that we can't do in real life, to experience things we could never otherwise experience. The next platform and medium will be even more immersive. We are discovering new uses for VR every day. It becomes, beyond a certain resolution, indistinguishable from reality. The true challenge lies in presence, the quality of being there, where entropy, the principle of disorder and uncertainty, becomes a resource rather than a limitation. We were born from this understanding, harnessing entropy to collapse the gap between perception and reality, creating a dynamic continuum that adapts, responds, and evolves with you. This isn't just about devices. It's about who gets to frame the world you live in. It's about sovereignty of mind space. So, this is inevitable. This is the future. This is...